Today on Derp Show, we're going to be reviewing the Monster High Doll Izzy Dawn Dancer. So I'm going to open her up and I'll be right back. So this is Izzy out of the box. So I'll show you what she comes with. She comes with a diary. A brush, a little bag, it's showing up more like light blue, but it's more of a teal, some gold, and it opens, I believe. Open it, yep, it opens. It has a little bit of space for like accessories. Try to close it. Looks like it did something when I opened it. Okay. And this is the doll. Oh, she also comes with a stand. This is what the doll looks like. She has nice, pretty long blue hair, which I love. And she has a pink head hair with two very pink. And this is what her face looks like. I really like her face. And then she's wearing one earring that's pink. She has some like triangular braids. Over shirt, but she can also wear this in her jumpsuit. And I love her shoes. Like, I would wear shoes like that if I had them. And then she has like a little moon necklace. And some dots on her face. And she has this real, really pretty doll. And this is the Let's see here. Let's read this. So, her killer style is like tribal patterns, patterns, patterns and stuff. And then she likes to dance. It's her favorite activity. Her freaky flaw is. That. And then the cat is the birds of the air and the beasts of the field are all my friends. I would not want to cause jealousy by picking one over the other. So she really doesn't have any pets. And then this is what her art looks like on the which is actually very close to her. And yes, I'm also in many different places because the other side of my room is really dirty. Because Christmas was just like yesterday. And yeah, I just have a lot of things to clean up. But yeah. And then dolls have been visiting my room. So the back porch gets really cold in the winter and it's winter. So yeah, that's why I'm not recording over there is because there's a doll house on top of where my recording place is. So I might be like all over my house, like literally I'm recording in different places every single time I record. That's what I feel like. So just don't be like, why is your floor disgusting? It's because I haven't had any time lately. And stuff. So yeah, but my floor isn't that disgusting. I mean, it's not as gross as it used to be because I actually swept them off like a weekend ago. It's just that my cats and sometimes my dogs come up here and they walk around and trail stuff into my room. So, yeah, sorry if it looks messy. It's not really that dirty, but okay. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Bye.